welcome to Screen Flash episode 16. As always, my name is David Kermis and I am your host. We are going to be playing the game House of the Dead Overkill. So this is a Wii title that got released in 2009, developed by Headstrong Games and published by uh, the one and only Sega. They've made a whole bunch of the House of Dead games. This one, of course, uh, as I said, was released in 2009 as actually a Wii ex exclusive. Excuse me. And um, it was later ported to the PS3 uh, two years later in uh, 2011. What's cool about this game is that it uh, it's obviously co-op. It has two players on it. You can play through the entire game. Uh, with two players, but there's some fun mini games that they added in there that are up to four players. So most of the House of the Dead games in the arcades, they only uh, allow up to two players. Uh, so adding the four player functions uh, to the Wii uh, was kind of like a nice little uh, bonus for it. Uh, another, uh, it did actually get released uh, for the Microsoft Windows operating system as well as a typing game a couple years after that. It was in 2013, uh, which is kind of funny. They removed all the shooting of it and made it into a like a typing exercising game. Uh, it's pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and play uh, just right from the beginning. Uh, there, It's presented in a pretty funny fashion. The uh, entire game is in a kind of like a grindhouse uh, B-movie type story, and uh, it's very... Uh, kind of out of control, but really fun. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in and uh, hope you enjoy. House of the Dead. Overkill. It's not just good. It's fucking delicious. Take it off. Shit, man. I think I slept with that bitch. Reload. 
What the? I can't get a clean shot. Shoot it! That is fucking close! That is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching Screen Flash episode 16. We played the game House of the Dead Overkill. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, NWR TV. And for everything Nintendo, new and old, keep it right here on NintendoWorldReport.com.